This is crazy. I am moving. Holiday weekend. Hey girl, hey. If you're new here, my name is Talisha. I'm an entrepreneur. I teach you everything you need to know about making candles. If you're interested in that, please make sure you subscribe. And if you need some self-guided learning, grab an ebook. It's only $39.99. Take you on the right direction to small business funding, as well as getting better recipes for your small business. Also, if you need some real one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can grab that in the description of this video as well. All right, let's just jump back into this struggle video. <laughs> Fourth of July is supposed to be spent with family and friends, barbecuing, relaxing, but instead, I am spending it frantically calling every moving company I can find, researching what that even means and what the right rates are and panicking because it's down to the wire. And I still haven't locked in any movers yet. It is Friday the 5th. I have to be out of here by Monday the 8th. Six, seven, the eighth. I am moving from Raleigh, North Carolina to Austin, Texas. That's 19 hours away. I had the brilliant idea of taking my entire three-story town home with me all the way to Texas, but I have no patience to sit in a car. So my focus was finding movers to drive my stuff there and then a separate service to ship my car. I had a fast, I did a three-day fast. I think I was, and I started the fast just because I was moving. I was like, I don't do this well. <laughs> so I was like, why not try God? Let's try God's way. It's a good idea. Like, it seems like a good move, but it's just been me fighting to get mover. Okay, I'm rambling here, emotional about these mover collabs, but you'll see as the video progresses, that wasn't even what God was trying to do. God is mysterious. It is often what you expect to happen, even in an instant, he gonna shift it. And he did. All right. I got one company that will come tomorrow. They let me do $500 deposit, which is refundable. The way it sounds is just like, it's this is logic, but they make logic sound like a miracle. Like, <laughs> we will pick your stuff up and drop it off to you in 48 hours. That's what they say at Cross Country. Call, it's a company called Piece of Cake. Okay, don't use them if you are not in New York, okay? They were trying to overcharge me and they were unresponsive when I said, let's move forward with their price. So I definitely recommend not doing this. I'll tell you who to use if you are moving cross country hear about them at the end of the video but do not use piece of cake if you yeah don't do that and it would be an influencer discount so they're only trying to do 15% off and I'm like no 40 40% 40 off because influencers edit and upload videos and promote you and make you thousands of dollars there's no reason for you for me to influence you for free then I have this other company which is called GM van lines which still is under the umbrella of could be sketchy because they quoted me 2500 which was a blessing I'm like oh yes God and then they were like just pay 500 a day okay but then pay a thousand dollars tomorrow so I'm just like what is this? <laughs> this is bullshit like people i'm talking to you directly okay if you are moving you should never pay all this money up front because of the assumed risk it's literally like paying for a car before it even was built you don't even know if there's going to be a recall on the car you don't know how the car is going to be conceptualized so to pre-order a car before it was even created or invented is nuts it's ludicrous or like, I don't even know what could take it a step further. Like, I just say go into a restaurant. If you go to a restaurant, the reason why they give you high quality food, high quality service is because you pay at the end. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. I would absolutely never spend $1,500 and then have you come to my house and take all my stuff. All I had is all I had. <laughs> Proud is what you had, baby girl. I'm what you had. <laughs> That's how it would be. This is super natural to me. I keep saying, I, I feel like I'm about to get some money too. Every time I think God, I get money. I'm not even kidding. This is like prophetic. Every single time I'm in like, God, I don't care what happens. And then boom, money shows up somehow. And it's just, I want to make sure I use the money on the right things, Lord. I don't want, I don't want to be gluttonous or anything. I want to use your money for good. Well, I've been on the phone for the last five days with moving companies and the moving companies have been toxic. Some of them remind me of ex-boyfriends and like, what's it called? Gas. Gaslighting. Gaslight is with a lot of a gaslighting with these movie companies. <laughs> this guy, GM Van Lines, was like, we'll do 2500 which is crazy. We'll do 2500 but we need 1500 down. I was like, that's insane. But he said he could ask his boss to take it down. So we'll see if his boss will do a $500 deposit. And then they were like, oh, you need us to come tomorrow? We're available 
but we'll increase it to two thousand more dollars so i'm just like people really gotta put this in perspective like is it worth it to ship your stuff like this furniture though i'm so proud of this like i paid this off when i had a bad job I only had was getting 14 dollars an hour and i paid this off but there's memories with this couch like i've had this couch for like five years i know how god works you know what i was thinking which is so crazy just it, it overwhelms me to envision it but when you fast even when you pray careful what you pray for because you're going to get it Okay, from here, I was just packing and ranting about how good God is. I had no movers. I had no idea who was moving my stuff. I hadn't even signed my lease in Austin. I was like, how am I even going to go to Austin? I know I could book a flight. Everything was just up in the air, but I still felt at peace because of that three-day fast. Like I said, if you have a big thing going on, do a three-day fast. And I'll do a dedicated video on this, but you need to do a three-day Esther fast, and it will clarify some things for you. Not necessarily give you answers, but give you peace. And then, yeah, peace is worth way more than answers. A lot of people don't have to, like, beg and hope for stuff. Like, I'm watching these people online, and it's like, they don't pray. They don't have to pray this hard. That's something. I feel like I'm in a test of Job. You know, when he never doubted God. He, was, he, questioned, he had some questions for God. Uh, I feel like doubted God. He just had some questions for God. I got questions for God, too. I'm like, God, he's so close to my move. I almost booked movement today, but their last name is Van Lines. I had a bad feeling about them. And then piece of cake. My God, I declare the decrees of your word over a piece of cake. Or better, hallelujah. Because then I go back. Here we go again. This battle is so heavy. Maybe I'll have peace at my new home. Because I've practiced witchcraft right here. I just had no peace ever since doing this. Like, if I were to tell you what I did, you'd be like, girl. Like, you know, on TikTok, they'd be like, pour cinnamon out your door for some money. Did it. Or they'd be like, if you urgently need to find a job, do this. Take water, cinnamon, Sharpie, and a white piece of paper. Write your name and your address and what job you need. <laughs> and I remember one time I went to a crystal store. I was at a crystal store. And then... Um, the man, I told him, he was like, he asked me what I was asking for, and I said a job, and then he took Palo Santo, and then did something to it, so, you stay away from witchcraft, because witches and warlocks don't want good things to happen to you. So, to sum up this 10 minute rant, don't practice witchcraft. Witchcraft slows you down. Focus on God, fast for God, pray to God, set your intentions in the morning with gratitude to God, and watch how your life changes. I'm sitting in a living testimony, a miracle. Literally had no idea how I was going to get movers. Movers cost thousands of dollars, and I need to book be booked weeks in advance. And if you just listen to my story in this video, you'll see how many irrational things happened because of my trust in God. It's just like two melters and some pouring pitchers. Boom, it's full. Cray cray, crazy girl. So if they, Jesus, I declare it's happening. It's happening. I declare the decrees of your word, God. I know that when I declare and expect in faith, you have no choice but to put in action. Lord, I know no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I know I have been often persecuted but never abandoned because you are standing here with me. I feel your energy all over me, God. I know I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I know we are in the fourth quarter, the ninth hour, but you're going to come in and swoop in and save the day. I know that if they come, if, what's it called? Mm, that cake place. <laughs> if they come... 
it's like a piece of cake. If they come tomorrow, I'll have my candle stuff in two days and I'll be able to continue making candle videos and begin to make my Christian candle collection, God. I can't wait to make my Christian candle collection, God. And I declare the decrees of your word. I, I expect in faith that you are going to come through supernaturally in the ninth hour when I least expect it today, Lord. Or even in an instant after I say this prayer, Lord, I give myself away to you, Lord. Use me. I'll be back. We're at the Home Depot. It's incredibly hard to get here because I'm dry. I'm not a good driver. But I got this car. Everybody's so nice. It gives Chick Fil A my pleasure. Um, I wanted these bins because they're only ten bucks. Ten bucks. I think I want to get three of them. See them? But I want it with the red lid. I don't know why. Just thought it was cute. Yeah, I'm gonna get three. Okay, so right after I left Home Depot, uh, Van Lines called me on the phone, and what I'm learning is they'll say anything to get your money. And he basically talked me into giving him my card number, but guys, my card, he did not charge my card. I don't know, a miracle, which I think is a blessing because y'all just watch the video. But I'm packing, guys. Look at this. All my makesy stuff is in here. All my. Supplies. All my supplies are in this box. Candles in here. Everything sorted. So I've been struggling with finding movers. And I opened my garage. And then boom, this man with a U-Haul U-Pack was driving by. All right, I'm placing this clip here as a reference. But guys, this is little baby garage. God, it's so good. I was just outside packing with no movers. And then I see this man pull up with a U-Haul trolley. I'm like, this is kind of weird. He gave me his business card. This was a pivotal stepping stone in the success of my move. And I learned through texting him that you could literally get a truck, a big old U-Haul truck, and add on a tractor on the back and put your car on it. And then you can hire people to drive that thing. So you don't have to go through these sketchy large enterprise companies. You could do it like that. Look at these boxes. Okay. I'm kind of worried because this guy, Francis Cross, with Cross the Border, on U-Haul, it says he's never done cross country, but even on the phone, he sounded like he didn't really know what he was doing. I just went to Kohl's and he gave me brand new boxes, like crazy. I feel so blessed, like what? Yes, if you are moving, you don't know where to get boxes from and you want to get them for free, go to Kohl's. He gave me brand new boxes. I mean, I don't know if he just liked me or that's a thing they do, but they're brand new. They're not beat up. They were brand new. He gave me like 20 and he walked me to my car with these boxes, y'all. It was a blessing. Okay, guys. So, I had a new neighbor for some time and he is here. Tell them who you are. Doing this, are you? Yes, I am. Okay. Tell them who you are. You don't like cameras, huh? I'm just a photographer. I'm on the other side of them. I can, I can, I can not, I can blur you out if you don't like that. You don't like it. Y'all. He's so kind. He helped me. Y'all know. Y'all seen I've been doing everything alone. We would have found these boxes at Kohl's. He helped me with these things. I would have never known to do. But hopefully I'll see y'all, the next time I see y'all, I will not be packing. I will be like in a calmer moment. <laughs> so kind, oh my God. So my neighbor, I gave him a pull-up bar and some books that I think he really appreciate. That was so kind. So he literally helped me with all this stuff here and gave me extra saran wrap. That was so sweet. I didn't really emphasize this, but this is insane. Like, he was about to walk into his house, and I was like, would you like some patio furniture? And he said, yeah, because I don't know why I just, like, wanted less stuff on the truck. I didn't even know what truck, y'all. 12 hours, T minus 12 hours, I had no idea what movers. I didn't have no movers. And I was just envisioning that I had a truck. And I was like, I don't want patio furniture on the truck, because I was like, That's, I have too much stuff. So my neighbor has no patio furniture. He's just a man. Simple dimple. Like, I'm sure there's nothing in that home. It's a big old three story townhome next to mine and I'm sure he has no furniture in it and I gave him my patio furniture and he gladly took it and then from there oh my god he was 
over friendly. Okay, who knew he actually packs stuff all the time? He travels on trucks all the time. So he packed up everything. My whole candle studio, he undid the legs of the candle studio. In my garage, I had boxes upon boxes upon boxes of items. He spent like six hours helping me. And then I had a mountain of trash. He put it all in his van and drove it to the trash and dumped it out himself. Insane. Like the amount of help he gave me was just truly sent from heaven. It was like God just literally planted this man in my life. All I did was give him some patio furniture and he changed the game completely. Just what? Wow. And he gave me good insight about Austin. I feel like there's this one thing he said. There's like this concert I need to go to. I forgot about it, but I need to go to just a blessing. You know, when you go to God, things just fall in place. Hey guys, good morning. It's the day of my move. I asked God um, to help me move for some reason. I still don't have movers secured or a car. Transfer. I, I met a man yesterday. He said he helped me. Somehow I, I tried to negotiate with him and um, he stopped responding. So outside of that, I don't know how I'm going to move. Um, I asked him, I said, can you guys come tomorrow? And he didn't reply. Um, this morning I got mad. I was thinking like, God, why are you doing this? But then I'm like, look what he did so far, man. Look at that amazing, my neighbor helped me. That was so amazing. And then like before that, the guy who just at the Coles that gave me all those boxes and just overall how God got me this place in general and then. How he got me a new place in Austin, got me a lease. I signed my lease. Everything God has done so far, I'm like, he's not going to leave me yet. He's not going to leave me ever, right? So I'm just had, trying to have faith in him. I wrote a list. I'm just going to do my list. And we're going to operate, operate by faith. I don't even know who's going to take my stuff. Shock me. Oh, also, it was so crazy this morning. I'm washing my face, and the sink basically broke. Oh, so you got to stay now? This thing was like, boop. <laughs> but I'm whispering, I think, because I'm so tired. But I'm about to go get an energy drink. Oh, I want a breakfast sandwich. Maybe two breakfast sandwiches. I'm greedy right now. I'm so hungry. But I want to eat. I'm up. It's like 7.30. Um, none of the moving companies open until 9. Um, so, I even if I tell you all out loud what my plan is, it's like, Probably not gonna work. So I might as well just pray harder. The harder you pray, the more miraculous the breakthrough is. Like people don't know. Radical faith creates radical results. This is like everything is moved. A lot of times it's like you are the problem when it comes to doubt. You'll notice when you have like something you want and um, for some reason it didn't happen yet and then you mad and aren't allowed to be mad wow oh and I have to tape all of these boxes up <laughs> I'm gonna tape all of these up I'm about to grab an energy drink just just really painting the picture. This is the day of my move. This is the 8th. This is July 8th. I had to be out of there. I already signed my lease. So I was planning to just take everything in my suitcase and just fly there and leave all my stuff there. I was like, whatever. But God, like this is coming off of like 30 minutes after. This is like 7 a.m. But around 6.30 a.m. I just went on Thumbtack and I just reached out to several movers. How did I have the idea about thumbtack i have no idea it just came to me because god jeremiah 33 verse 3 called to me and i'll show you wonders things you've never even seen i never even thought of thumbtack i have been searching for movers for a month all over all of these websites and then thumbtack comes up in my mind and i reached out to two movers so here i was just going to call myself and get energy drinks waiting on a reply Okay, I want to handle this in the most appropriate way as possible. So I reached out to two movers. Capital City Carriers responded to me first. I got back home like 8 a.m. They responded to me like 
around nine something, Angela called me and I told her my situation. I just got really emotional, started crying on the phone. I told her I had no movers. I need to move today, cross country. Can you put all my stuff in a truck and attach it to my, attach my car to the back and just drive 19 hours real quick? And she said, yeah, like what? <laughs> she said, yeah. So not only did they actually show up. So what happens with moving is you have to give them inventory. They have to understand how much stuff you have, how much space it'll take on a truck. So with them, they did it the proper way. Instead of making me go one by one of all my furniture, they came to my home walked around my home and estimated how much space it would take. And my Jesus, I got really blessed because how is this small business, as you see on the screen, this man is incredibly passionate about moving. Um, and he has like just a respectable, good man. Like he, he is engaged to Angela. Angela is just this pure, lighthearted, calm soul. I just paid movers. They're not like a like a big company. They're like a small business, um, and as you can see, they left their dolly here. So they're coming back with a Penske truck. And um, honestly, I feel like it's a good idea because he'll go straight there instead of with large movers. They will um, wait, make you wait a week for your stuff. So I'm getting my stuff early, and they're taking my car. Like I feel really lucky. For that, um, he said, move my car. So I just moved my car. Um, just waiting for them to come back. They left like 10 minutes ago to go um, up the truck. In there. It's 2.30, I have to be out of here by five. I feel like God did this so last minute. Like it, I got movers at 2 p.m. and I needed to move at 5 p.m. by 5 p.m. God did it so last minute to show it was him. It's just so crazy. Like, how last minute this is? Three hours before? And I had a month to do this? And movers? Cross-country movers? To a, and, and then the passionate one? Oh, my God. What a blessing. Just, what? So, the movers left to get a truck about an hour ago. And I have way too much anxiety. So, I'm just going to go get, like, a shot. I was wanting to get a couple shots for being on the plane anyway. Because... Who moves from North Carolina to Texas right quick? Nobody. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. I have no control. I hate not having any control. I like to have control. I'm like looking to see if they come in or not. Like they're, This is crazy. Can you imagine? I'll be, I'm going to get some shots because I need to relax. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to be out by five. That's nuts, isn't it? Something I would do. I bought cherry limeade bisvidka. I'm not even a drinker. It's just like a moment that I thought I need to have. And then I also got pink Whitney real vodka. New Amsterdam pink lemonade. The movers came back. I literally just, I was like, so bored just sitting here for an hour. You ready? Yeah. Excited. Yes. <laughs> She's done, all right. Just 
for so long So stuck in my own way So I enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has made basically empty they're almost done moving everything into the truck i miss my three-story town home the biggest blessing of my life when I tell you I let them clean out my place like I purely packed um but the passion of her husband about moving made me confident that he would be able to empty out my house and honestly my flight was at 7 30 and they got back around four so I was like of course they're not gonna be able to move an entire three-story town home in a matter of freaking you know three hours so I had to leave them there still packing my stuff do you understand how much trust that was i told her to get that charger because i needed that um but she literally took a uh, facetime with me while i'm on the airplane to show me what i left because there were certain things i just wanted to leave there which i didn't want to leave it there because of packing it but there's something she kept even though I said leave it. You understand how blessed I was? And she said she prayed before they came to me. So this is God. Okay, God, when you go to God and you fast for God, he will bring you people like him. He will bring you blessing, like people who pray too. Like, I can't even believe this happened to me. She showed me this closet and she just took stuff out of there and put it in my car because I asked her to. Because I was not leaving. I wasn't really um, packing it up perfectly because my, um, they said they charged me a $500 cleanup fee. So I'm like, if you're charging me a $500 cleanup fee, then yeah, you do that. You handle that. Like, <laughs> it's rude of you to even have that system in place. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking at the video with you guys. I told her to take only a couple things and take everything because honestly, the way God works is like, if you don't need it, you don't need it. And she says the FaceTime before I got on the flight. Look at her, Angela. She's such a blessing. So she showed me everything and then boom, I paid her again because period, why not? Why wouldn't you? I can't even believe this happened to me. I'm in Atlanta. I'm trying to make it to Austin. I don't even know where. I don't even. I think I'm 8:35. I'm at 8:31 right now. I feel so good and sore. My back hurts. I can't believe I just did that. But I should be there at like midnight. <laughs> Please enjoy all our city passes. If you're really passing through, consider looking at Lansing Kingdom. 
And we're in the back, but we got our window. This is crazy. It's like it's like one a.m. and Carolina, but it's it's one a.m. here. Yeah, that was the last window you off the plane. What does that mean? Comment what that means. <laughs> Arriving, yes. Okay. Are you Miss Brown? Yes, sir. Have you been waiting? If I can see your ID for a moment? Yes, of course. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, a little Texas Renaissance. Um There's only 16,000 points, and I'm not mad at it. Like, all these mirrors, what? All these mirrors. Picture, good, good shower. Tub. I think my shower above me. Oh, amenities, oh, I'm stealing towels. Always steal towels. It's hot in here, we fix it. Hopefully. Okay, I just turned the fan high. It's 2 a.m. Look at all this, um, like, ruffles. This is just, this is a free room. Yeah, this room for, for free. Here's that. There's the bed. Oh, good old Austin. Little leather thing, weirdo thing. Food for thought. Skin, find what you crave. They're probably super close. Oh, look at the pit. Mm -hmm. Pit, 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 pit. Two Thank you for staying with us. Leslie's room ambassador. Okay, baby. Okay, this is adorable. Okay. See so y'all didn't see it. Weird. But this Red Bull, I thought it was gonna come in a wow. Red Bull. I thought it was gonna come in a Red Bull can. 
Jack in the Box. It got here sooner than I expected. So I got two tacos. Oh my God, it's a lot of fries. And really the main reason why I ordered this. This is so much. So this is their spicy chicken sandwich, but I got no ranch. So I don't, sometimes I'm not in the mood for ranch. I've been walking through TSA with my water bottle, my carry-on, and my laptop bag. And my carry-on apparently had an item in it that was too big. Instead of finding the fucking item, he'd rather check it. So he checked the bag. So then, now I don't have a water bottle. This was what? This flag TSA. I from my home, just wanna so afraid to open up, so I'd rather hide. I'm just so grateful that I made it this far. Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car. Betty's everything for me and everything I need. I would be nothing if you didn't give me no reason to be here. Yeah. Okay, a pivotal piece of the story was left out, guys. I am that risk taker who went on Zillow, fell in love with the floor plan, applied, paid my rent, and signed my lease. And literally, this is my first time seeing the neighborhood. I've never been to Austin, Texas in my life. I've never been to this home in my life. And I did a FaceTime, a video tour of it, and I loved it. And I just trusted them. I didn't think there was a scam or anything involved. And y'all, it was everything I expected, but then more. Nobody tells you how crazy and Prepare to be sick of me. I need items. I got them. I haven't eaten all day. I got Panda Express. The door is noise canceling. See, that's what happens when you get an actual house. I was in the apartment and it's like, you could just hear everything outside, but here is so quiet. I can't hear anything outside, but I'm about to go eat my food from Panda Express. If you guys want to see it. Mm. I now know, just as I just came to a realization, <laughs> this is a vision. Jesus, Jesus. No, you go stay where you are. But, um, okay. Turn this one the fuck down. How do that? Uh uh. Who is? Yeah. That's so cool! I can't hear anything. It is so quiet in here. I just ate so much food, but I still look good. Period. Period. What? Boss Vision. This is Boss Vision light now? I was always mad in my old home. I was like, why is it so, I hate the light. And then I hated how loud it was. And then I hated how opening my door, I saw so many people. My door is private. Like that door, it's like a private corner. So nobody's like, I don't know, I'm not looking around anymore. Oh, wow. There's a house that I was gonna get as an end unit that I didn't decide to do because it had this weird, it was just weird on the inside. So I decided not to do it and it had carpet. This one had gray flooring. I didn't know that the cabinets were so gray. I didn't know the stairs were so gray. I didn't know the bar, everything is so silver. That's my favorite. My favorite colors are silver and gray. Like, I love that. And I love this blue picture with the bamboo. I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. That's why I said Jeremiah 33 verse three. Call to me and I will tell you and even show you things you could have never even imagined. Like, how am I here right now? How is this happening? What? How did he do this? Like, it's specifically in the black curtains. I love that barnyard, black curtain thing. I love that. How? 
How is it everything that I specifically want? Not like, oh, you know, this is good for now. This is not good for now. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. I can't believe I'm in exactly what I wanted. Like, I feel blessed. Target haul. He picked it up. Well, men, when they shop, they don't read boxes. They just you go to the instructions. But if it was a woman, she'd be like, it says, do you need a pump? Do you need a pump? So I need a pump for this. Now I'm going to have to make another Target order and get a pump for this. I ordered these sandwiches. I'm so hungry. A barbecue chicken sandwich and a chicken club sandwich. My dad would, um, when I came to his house for the summer, he had to work a nine to five. He would buy me these. And um, while he was at work, I would eat these. <laughs> and I love them. Ever since then. Then, you guys, I think I told y'all last night, but the freaking A double freaking the. Oh, my little lizard just went to the ceiling of the patio. But it's a. It's, by the way, my patio is shaded. It has a roof over it. And it has light, so at night I could turn the lights on out there, Liddy. But um, by the way, the freaking A double freaking TSA guy had a big purple water bottle, and he threw. I think he threw it away because he made me check my carry on because I had a prime drink in there, and maybe I don't know what he thought it was because you see an X-ray. He was like, "You want to keep everything in there." Um, he didn't pull everything out. And I'm like, it wasn't what you think. It was actually a prime drink. So it was just a water bottle. It wasn't anything else. Um, but he made me go take a U-turn and go to check my bag and go back to TSA. It was so rude. But anyways, after he did that, I realized that my, um, big 64 ounce water bottle was missing. So I went back to him. I was like, where's my water bottle? He said, I put it in your suitcase and he did it. So then I had to get this, which I think is even better because hello, birds, come here. Cause of the size, like I would fill up that big one. It's four water bottles in it. And I would never finish it because I felt like it's a lot. But if you finish one of these, you'll want to go get another one because you don't feel like it's a lot. So I think this may have worked out for my good. Okay, God. Next. I got Alani's. I really got two Alani's. I'm gonna grab another one. Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. They're on sale. And I wanna wake up because I only slept three hours last night and I'm so tired. But. <coughs> dessert! Then I have this Honey Stinger waffle from Nutella. Um, because they didn't have graham cracker, chocolate covered graham crackers. Which actually works out for me because if they did have it, I'll eat the whole thing. This seems so cool. I wonder what I could do out there. Maybe I could walk a dog out there. Um, <laughs> it's just a lot of greenery behind y'all. Yeah, so, that down. I feel like I could film videos right here with this natural light. And that was another thing in North Carolina. So this is what, what happened in North Carolina. You will be, okay, the morning will be super bright at 6 a.m. You're like productive and everything. Around 9.30, you get an overcast. Like, comment if you live in North Carolina and you ever felt that. But it's like from 9.30 to 1, it's overcast. Then you get really lazy. Here, it's bright all day. The whole day is bright. Like, I love that and I really needed that. I was worried. Um, I was like, I'm going to live by the beach. It's going to motivate me because I'm always awake. But this is better. This is Jeremiah 33 verse 3. I remember I couldn't get approved to Elora Flower Mound in Flower Mound, Texas. I couldn't get approved to a bunch of places, but um, God had better plans. Like this is insane. <sighs> Cause like, I love, I love not being near the water. When you're near the water, it's too much going on, like hurricanes and all that. This weather is pretty much steady. It's just gonna be hot. Like this is perfect for me. Like I didn't even realize what I did to myself. Cause I was gonna move to California, but I'm like, no, I don't want to move to California. I love it here. This is, I can't believe I did this. Like, made a good choice. Usually, I'd be making choices like, oh, why did you do that? This is a great choice. And next, I wasn't going to get a pillow, but I was like, I'm probably going to want a pillow. So, I got a pillow. Um, and <laughs> I got a blanket, this plushy blanket here. Who is calling? Stop calling me. Please stop calling me. This pink plushy blanket that I'll put in my guest room. Like, I really think I want to have a guest room instead of just, because I don't know what else to do in that room. Like, I want to have a candle studio in that little corner, 
and then like my I guess office slash makeup room right there. But then there's this other room. I'm like, maybe it could be a genuine guest room. I also got this chair that I need to put together. I, my whole life, I always thought you pray to God and he makes you suffer. But no, not forever. And you read the Bible, you realize that there's certain parts of it where you will suffer, but not for long. Like we will make sure you are for the night, but the joy will come in the morning light. So there's times when God will put you through things. Hallelujah. I can't even. He'll put you through things to get you through things, like to put you through it, to get you through it. Imagine though, imagine if you have this desire, you want to go to Z, this point Z or point B, and you're at point A. And then you ask God, and then you wonder why all these other things happen. It's because you have to get through them to get to this. So there is an end. It's temporary. Like I, ah, I always thought like you go pray to God and just he's pleased that you're praying but he's not going to give you everything it's not going to be perfect but it is out it can be uh and then there's a good amount of space between the dishwasher and the stove like that i used to hate that like oh uh, this right here like i can walk by i used to couldn't like it was like so close together it's just the little things here, like a pantry. I told y'all I'm the room tour. But yeah, pantry now. I it. It's like, I live here. The real estate. Ah! <laughs> wow, I live here. <laughs> the real estate, though, in California is like harder to find. That's why I couldn't live there either. Mm. And this is my backyard. Little area. But don't let that fool you because I don't know. I don't know about that. There's light, wildlife out there. Mm -mm. See you all She's walking her dog. Like it really felt like demons were telling me not to come here. They was like, mm, you keep trying to fly everywhere else and like, oh, so you're just gonna pay them? And it was so hard to pay her today, like Everything about this was really hard. And oftentimes, if there's a lot of struggle and resistance around something new, then just focus on it because you never know. And maybe like your breakthrough. I had to get away from my mom. Like my mom had this big dark cloud over my head. It's okay if your family like, oh, those are the other ones I was looking at. It's crazy because it's like on Zillow, I was looking. I don't know how I found these places. My Jesus. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, wonders that you could never, I don't know how I'm here, I'm here. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to find a gym, this is a big text gym right up the road. <laughs> and it's not even that serious, like, I, do, I am not a bodybuilder, I am a writer, I'm a content creator, and I am a sales account executive. That's what we call you, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, I'm about to order a pump. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, one mistake. Okay, these are all the pictures I sent my mom. If you want to see the full tour, I recommend watching the video uh, that I did last, the last video, or click the card above this clip. But look at the top. Oh my god, that wasn't even on the website and it was gorgeous. Look at this gym, everything here, overwhelming. Definitely look at the tour. Look at this picture. Wow, it's fire now. Fire? You see that? <laughs> oh, is it a fire or is it like oh that's a fire? I see the black part, that's fire. I don't ever want to drive over here again. <laughs> Spectrum, the cable, or the internet people. God really knows what he's doing. Don't stress out. His timing is perfect. His plan is perfect. He's got you right where he wants you. Keep pursuing him.